Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we are off to Hervey Bay on the East Coast and we're taking a bus that's going to be quite a long time. But we're going with Greyhound Australia today who have kindly gifted us these tickets and we can't wait to show you what the East Coast has to offer. We're going to take you on the bus journey and then we're going to show you three free things to do whilst you're in Hervey Bay. Yay! Okay, so it's actually Good Friday today, so nothing is open and there was no food, so I went on a very, very long trek yeah, whilst she's been about four hours. Reese nobly looked after the bags and I managed to find two open cafes. So I got Reese a whole cross bun and then in the second cafe I managed to find myself a gluten free pear and walnut tart. So we'll eat our breakfast because we still have about half an hour to our bus. 45 minutes. 45 minutes to our bus. on the bus now. It's very comfy. We're not going to have as much vlogging of the bus in this video because we actually have a big ultimate bus video coming up which is going to be a long one. We have now arrived in Hervey Bay which is where we're going to be spending the next 24 hours or so and our bus was actually delayed. Um, not picking us up but there was so much traffic I guess because it's a bank holiday. Um, so there was loads of traffic in the first half and then the second half went pretty well, kind of caught up with itself almost. Um, and now we have a long walk. You, you, you left me behind, we storming ahead. Yeah, we have a long walk to our hotel and most places are closed, but there is a place called Enzo's on the beach. So hopefully that's where we're gonna go for dinner. Um, we could have obviously got an Uber into Hervey Bay, but we're trying to save money. And also we, um, oh yeah, the hostel, oh my gosh, the hostel, I'm, I'm pulling a suitcase, I'm not just randomly tripping. <laughs> um, the hostel we're staying at does offer a shuttle to the Greyhound bus stop, but we didn't know that. So we'll get there tomorrow when we go back. But yeah, it's it's the weather's cleared up. It was really rainy this morning, but it's okay at the minute. And the sun's setting and yeah, hopefully we're there by six. So we just arrived at our hostel, which is Hervey Bay Flashpackers. It was about 57 pounds for a night. And it's double room and it has aircon and a nice TV over there, which is great. And we've got, with Greyhound, we got a Wimit Pass, which is 30 days for 389 and it's unlimited buses on the east coast. I mean it's a brilliant idea and you can also extend the pass if you need to and you can also get I think 60 day ones as well so it's a really good idea if you want to travel and see as much of Did the east coast. Did you let them know it's gifted for us? This pass is also gifted to us from Greyhound Australia so thank you very much but it's not paid so we'll give you our honest reviews. First impression of the system is really good nice bus bit of a delay but now it's traffic nothing you can do about that um nice and spacious nice and comfy the driver was flipping bombing it though he was really on a mission to get us there so i appreciate that in some ways but yeah it's really good we'll keep you updated we'll show you how it goes throughout our time here and there'll be a special vlog because we're going to be doing like a day a whole day on a bus so stick around to watch that we're now heading out for dinner to Enzo's on the beach. Basically, the menus are brunch, lunch, and then all cocktails. And um, there's a menu called sunset cocktails, and that's dinner. So, um, that's what we're gonna have. Are you excited? Yes, thank you. Let's go. We've put some serious strength box programs. Yes, well, we so. have, but not as strong as the stuff they sell here. So we might have to upgrade. We have to get because we've got what 50 percent eat something yeah. like that. They've got 80 percent eat. Yeah, I saw that because on our thing, it's got like a scale one to four, and four is the strongest you can yeah. get in the UK. I saw a scale of one to eight. Here. Oh God, so there's four more scales. <laughs> we're a bit behind, yeah. but hey ho, let's hope we don't get eaten more alive. Reese is feeling a little bit scared. He didn't like the snakes before. We haven't seen any, he was just scared of them. Then he's just been saying that there's going to be sharks on the beach. Not that we're going on the beach, we're going to be on like a veranda on the beach. And now he's scared that there's no one else around. I've got the spiders as well. Can I see your face? Uh, <laughs> I love spiders. But, well, you'll survive. Why? No one's died from a spider since the 70s. Yeah, I keep telling you this. You're probably wondering what time it is, or maybe you've assumed it's like 10 p.m. What time is it, Reese? It is half past six. Half past six, and it went 
dock a while ago. Yeah, it did. Please wait here to be seated, it says. So this is my burger and let's have a look at Reese's burger. Sorry, mine is like a, it's called a multi bug slider, which is like a species of lobster. Really nice, really fresh. Looks so Tiny, good. Tiny, but it was, it was like six pounds. Yeah. Perfect size, enough for me. <laughs> Got to update in this hotel if you decide to stay in Hervey Bay Flashpackers. We didn't know this. They've given us whole two sheets of A4 of information and they don't mention this. There is a tannoy in the room. So we were just chilling and then the loudest voice just comes on and it's like, Hello everybody, the shuttle is leaving in two minutes. We were terrible. No, been so scared of my life. Oh my god. <laughs> this came out of nowhere. Good morning everybody, it's another day here in Herbie Bay and today we're going to show you top three things to do here in Herbie Bay and on Saturday in Bill Fraser Park they have a market so it's a Saturday and we're going to check out the market. And it's every Saturday, yeah. 7 till 12 I think, something yeah. like that. So yeah. In the morning. In the morning. Nice. So a little morning market. It's so hot we have been walking and it's roasting. have a cake stall because we're always we we make pretty good bakes I would say and we're so. we're always looking for um definitely good and gluten free round like they taste normal and we're always looking for somewhere that we could sell them that would be just once we just want to sit with like a little market stall just once and see if we they do. would sell and um we can't find anywhere in the UK we could do that but looks so like we could do it here. yeah if you know if we could rent a stall over the summer or something We'd love to. Let us know. <laughs> so we're at Torquay Beach. We're at the pier on Torquay Beach. And it is lovely. I mean, the water's a bit murky because I imagine there's quite a lot of sand here. But it's so busy. It's because it's Easter weekend, so that's why. But I recommend it. It's lovely sandy beaches. There's lots of uh, changing rooms and toilets. Um, it's very nice. What's there to hold in the light of this moon? My mind keeps searching, but my heart decides Thoughts can be cruel, they're not mine to own The space unravels when you let go What's yours, it ain't mine, that energy goes today the feather in the fire will blow it home your way Out 
to unfold when this knot is so tight. Each step is chosen to reveal the light. Days left wondering, am I back here again? The shadow is. We've now walked about 45 minutes to Orangan, which is a park here. Um, is it is it still part of Heavy Bay or? I think so. Yeah, it's still part of like the county, I guess. But it's it's like a forty-five minute walk down. So. Yeah, it took us two hours. It is. Did it take us two hours? Yeah. We stopped a lot. We made friends. We stopped. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. But we're now here at Arangam. We're probably gonna get lunch here, and then there's this really long pier. It might be a bit hot for Reese to go down because it's not sheltered, and Reese is really struggling with the heat. I'm not doing well. It's 31 degrees today, so. Um, it feels more at the minute. <laughs> I'll try to take you down, show you some views. Um, but yeah, let's get some lunch first. What time is it? Is it lunch time? Please say it is. Uh, we can kind of. Close enough. Yeah, let's get some lunch. Okay, we're not gonna name drop it, but we just went for lunch, and I'm not gonna recommend it because it was terrible. I am Pure Village Cafe. Don't go there. I was gonna make a comedy joke, like just don't go for the first one you see when you're walking in. No. It's the first one you see. Yeah, it's the first one you see. It's called that was the one, I've never felt like such a snob, but that food was vile. Like the the chips were so soggy, and when you took your hand, they didn't Coated taste of anything. Though. But when you took your hand away, your hands were yellow. It was gross. It was like and coated in like an egg yolk. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Horrible, and then I had, and it was on the menu. I had a chicken, cheese, and pineapple open grill thing, and there was just so much cheese. I was like, "What the heck?" Oh, this most adorable little dog. Anyway, that was a terrible lunch. My Caesar lap wrap was just. Oh. Not, I just don't know how you could get chips wrong. That's what I don't understand. But anyway, we're a bit nervous because we've got busy couple Buses. of days. Buses every day, so. Hopefully we're okay after that. Like yeah, That's gonna be... we'll be fine. Manifest. Um, hopefully, touch wood. I feel like when you get ill from food, usually you don't expect it. So hopefully we're not gonna get food poisoning. Fingers crossed. Anyway, <laughs> we're just. If we do. Yeah, we're um, just gonna walk along the pier and show you that now. Thank you. 
kind of the gateway. Um, I've just been listening to someone. Fraser Island is great, it's like this big paradise, but I'm not going to go. So I've just been listening to someone, and apparently that, like that close, that is Fraser Island. Um, don't quote me on it, I'm just listening to other people on the pier, but apparently that's Fraser Island. But if you Google things to do in Harvey Bay or Harvey Bay, this pier is pretty much the first thing that comes up on every website. I've only walked 45 minutes just to go up and down this pier, but it's nice if you're here, like it's got good views. If you love fishing though, loads of people love fishing and they seem to be quite successful, so if you like fishing, then check out this pier. See you next time.